Let's take a look at finding the mean on an HP 39GS calculator. Now the first thing we want to push is we want to push this um, button that says applet. And once we get into there, then we're going to down arrow. And we're looking for the statistics option, which is right here. And you see there's a lot of other options also. You could up arrow to go to it faster, but that's the one we want. So after I get get to that, then I want to press my enter. And it'll bring us up uh, to where we can enter some data. Now if you already have numbers here, like if you already have numbers like that, then if you have them highlighted, you can just press your delete key and it'll delete them out. But I'll do my 13, enter, 19, enter, 23, enter, 31, enter, 45, enter, 46, enter, 47, enter, 51, enter, and 53, enter. Now there's different uh, options down below here. There's a edit, insert, sort, um, there's one var, there's stats. For example, if I press the the F5 here, it changes it to two vars. We only got one um, uh, column, so we want one var. So if I press F5, it changes it back. Now if I push the, X, the F6 below the stats, this is what we're wanting. Then you see it gives you the one var descriptive statistics. And um, down here is where your mean is. Um, and it says mean of sigma, but that's our that's our sample mean, um, which is also our population mean. And rounded to two decimal places would be 36.44. Now, if you scroll down, I'll go ahead and show it. You'll see other items down to the max, I guess. And then when you're done, you click the F6 that's straight below your OK. And to exit out of that, you can just push your home button. In this video, we took a look at how to find a mean on an HP 39GS calculator.